We now invite Mr. Sabiasachi Das, parent of Anwar Das, to share his journey as an adventure parent. Good evening, everyone. If it were not for InVenture, my son Anwar wouldn't have had the chance to interact with an astronaut, a real astronaut, though my hopes of him becoming a NASA scientist were long since trashed into the black hole. If it were not for InVenture, my daughter, who graduated two years ago, wouldn't have had the chance to be a part of the NASCAR pit stop crew changing race car tires. So I'm not sure I would let her do that to my car. <laughs> Many moons ago, when we walked into the campus, my smart wife and I, you know who wrote the speech. What was evident at first glance was the kids were very happy, very, very happy and very confident. Take Shashank, for example. I saw this kid shadow practicing his cricket shots. Having played a bit myself, I asked him a very intelligent question. So you play cricket? He said, Uncle, my name is Shashank. I'm the captain of the InVenture Junior Cricket Team, and I'm a very good batsman. He paused for a fraction of a second and corrected himself. In fact, I am the best. The decision was made, right? Not just based on what we saw in the boardroom presentations, but also based on what we saw in the kids outside. Nurian Ma'am, as always, was brilliant in laying out the vision, an exciting vision. The kids outside brought that to life. We really loved what we saw, and we wished we had been to a school like this. Well, new to the school, Anwe was still trying to find his feet. Along came the auditions for the InVenture production. The shy boy of ours, who I can't find now, bagged himself a role of a limor and was a riot on the stage. In fact, Preet Ma'am still calls him King Julian. The performance came to us as a surprise as parents, certainly to me as a dad. In fact, I almost ordered a DNA test. Anyway, from King Julian, to playing Farooq in the last school production, the journey at InVenture has mirrored Anwar's growth as an individual. And along the way, he has helped himself to a lovely bunch of friends. And his confidence has grown too. Unlike Shashank, however, he hasn't told me yet he is the best. But despite that, being his, even despite being his fiercest critic, I think he's done quite all right. We certainly have a proud mommy out there. I told you she wrote the speech, right? Actually, to me, he has actually been a colossal disaster. He hasn't asked anyone out yet. Or so we think. Right? Shedding my role as the hands of dad which, by the way, I played to perfection. Ask her. <laughs> uh, I went so far ahead as to shortlist a few lovely friends he could consider. But all he's managed to do was to propose uh, to ask someone out for coffee in a school play. The 12th grade, in many cases, in many ways, is the moment of truth, the college apps. To make matters worse, Anwar didn't know what he wanted to do. DNT and Aaron Sir had clearly made an impact. Gauzia Ma'am told me several times that I hope she, he really decides to do something with computers. Mary Ma'am said, urged him to do, you know, pursue chemistry. Pramila Ma'am asked him to sort of be the world topper in mathematics. And Charmaine Ma'am had just one request. Sir, can you please get him to have a haircut? Others called him a dream to have in the class, 
just that we ourselves didn't know what he was dreaming about. Well, he finally made the decision to apply undecided. Quite frankly, <laughs> well, quite frankly, I was okay with that because truth be told, at 48, I'm still trying to figure things out myself. So it's absolutely fine. Well, the major having been chosen, it was time to now apply. As is the want, we as it was utmost duty of us as parents to be unhappy with Anwar, with his efforts in general, but the essays in particular. That he made us eat humble pie is something we will not delve into right now. Let's simply attribute that to the sheer brilliance of the maternal genes. The point I want to get to though is the learning I had in the process. At the dinner table one night, with the applications done and dusted with, Anwar was in an unusually expressive mood and told us how he's helping students, not just at Adventure, but at other schools too. Sworn to secrecy and guided by the Adventure value of integrity, he didn't reveal the details, but what he told us that night prompted me to frustratingly ask him, why the heck did you not mention any of these in your essays? Instead of saying something like, I want to make the world a happy place one person at a time, right? If I were the professor, I would say, that's great, but how? I mean, these stories were real. These stories, the things he was doing, they were actual, right? And yet he refrained from mentioning them. His response stunned me. Papa, I'm not doing this for my college essays. I'm doing this to make a difference to people, to make people smile. <laughs> Mama, of course, as you would have all gathered by now, knew this all along. For me, it was a eureka moment. In the end, isn't happiness all we strive for, right? Just that the paths we choose to get there and the pace at which we get there are different. So let me finally end this rather long three minute speech by saying that irrespective of the paths you choose, give it your best every day. Make no mistake, there will be bumps along the way. You will fall, you might stumble, but every time pick yourself up and give it a go. Give it a good go and you will get there in the end. So. Class of 2022, I'll borrow your friend Anwar's lines and urge you to go forth and make the world a happy place. Yes, one person at a time. It is your time now, and as Inventure has taught you all along, carpe diem. God bless you all. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs>